Hello, I'm Mijamana and welcome to episode 13 of our survival series. We're starting things off today with an enormous amount of melons. I don't know how long I've been here, 12 hours, maybe 18? Okay, that's a very big jump estimate. Basically, I left it overnight and then all day whilst I was in school. Whoa! Hello! Hello! What are we even going to do with all these melons? I don't even know. I mean, this guy's trade will lock, right? But we now have enough emeralds to get back at least some half-decent tools. I think this is going to be our armor matching day, possibly, but we also do need to finish the gold farm because that's been going for a while. Let's get trading. So we have managed to end ourselves up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 10 stacks of... What the heck are you doing in here? And this is how I die, I can tell. Or at least kill some of my villagers. Oh! That was quick. Whoa, this sword. I'm looting three, four. I like this sword. I like it a lot. It's a shame we can't upgrade it to diamonds. Okay, how many stacks is he going to look out after? Let's have a look. A stack. Not even a stack. Wow. That's just... No. We might be here a while. I think it's time we went and got ourselves another farmer villager who can trade us melons. But that's quite a long process. So let's... Is it bedtime? No, it's, it's just raining. But this is absolutely fantastic because we are getting many, many levels from doing all this trading. And if I just go... Oh, did we lose some books? I feel like we might have lost some books. That's a shame. But if I just go and check in this chest and grab some books, this guy... No, not this guy. This guy. We now are able to get another mending book. And look how many emeralds we have. We've, we've not even spent two stacks. Two full stacks of melon. We've one and a half has got us nearly a stack of emeralds. This is fantastic. This is why I loved it on my old world. But it does take a lot of AFK. There's one mending. There's another. Can we get another? No. Okay, we'll wait. He's going to refresh. Let's just get those XP levels ready to add mending to stuff. And that's protection one. That was very anticlimactic. But still, one thing that is good is a way of getting another way of getting emeralds from books, although books are not the most helpful. Hang on, let me just go and check something. Do we have a decent amount of leather? I feel like we might. Oh my goodness, we have 33 leather. So, oh, and we have one book there, okay. We could easily trade books. Right, what I need to do first this episode then is go over there, grab as much sugarcane as possible and start up a huge, well not a huge sugarcane farm. And it's not going to be automatic either because I'm just filling this area up with ugly netherrack builds and I'm fed up. So we're just going to, wow, this goes fast. We're just going to dig a little trench for our water to go in and our sugar cane to grow next to. And then we're going to make some books, trade up, get good gear and finish the gold farm. Placing water buckets. Placing sugar cane. Okay, that's probably not the most efficient way to place it. Let's do that again. Okay, it's time to start maxing out our gear. Check this out. We've got three mending books and I believe... Oh. Did we not have... Ah, there we go. I was, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we had a lot of diamonds somewhere. I need to sort out my valuables chest. 24. That is enough for a full set, but we don't need a full set. We just need that. In fact, we don't need the shovel or the boots. So let's craft up. I mean, it'd be a shame to waste up all these enchantments, but if we were really going to max it out, we would keep this stuff as spares and get full netherite. So let's do that. Now, take off the chest plate. Oh. Mm, right. Well, we're going to have to take it off once we've used up all our levels. But let's... We need a helmet. We need a chest plate. Alright, this is really all or nothing. If we don't... If we lose this, then we've pretty much lost it all. Wait, only four? Oh, I think I've done the math wrong. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. Well, let's grab some wood which we don't have. Let's grab some sticks. We'll get some wood later. Let's at least make a sword, perhaps. Can we make a sword? Yep. And put on our... Well, I was going to say put on the chest plate. Should we make leggings? I, I suppose we can use the spare pickaxe for now, really. So let's make some leggings and then we'll... S oh, we don't have enough for an axe. Okay, we'll use the spare axe as well. And we'll keep those two diamonds in there. Alright, so far so good. We have mending on everything apart from those. Right, we could do with mending on that and that, to be fair. So we'll try and get that when he unlocks his trades. Should it 
should be easy enough with the amount of melons that we still have. But the next thing I was thinking to do, other than get decent enchantments and finish the gods on this episode, is I'd really like, as I said, to max out stuff which includes upgrading it to netherite. And the best way I can think of doing that is AFKing at the creeper farm because we did actually get a decent bit of gunpowder whilst we were just stood here. But obviously if you don't go up there, it's not very much at all. I think we got 7 TNT, which isn't great. Do we have any gunpowder in here? I'm sure we do. Yeah, we've got 8. So let me just very quickly craft that up. Is it worth a trip to the nether or should we wait? 2. I think we're going to wait until we've got a proper decent amount. And then we'll go get a ton of ancient debris. Max out our armour, finish the gold farm. That will make for a great episode. And then after that, we need to do something which I've been putting off for a long time. Base. This is the moment I've been waiting for. This is this is going to be awesome. Alright, here we go, here we go. Elytra, anvil. Elytra, anvil, mending. Boom. Check that out. Now, we can pretty much fly everywhere this is going to be so cool i know where we can get more stuff to trade with villagers this farmer villager right here i was about to go and get another one because i'm fed up of waiting for this guy to reload after putting mending on my elytra pumpkins genius i remember that at my old house oh <sighs> curse of binding right okay you know what why not why not okay here goes nothing where are my arrows? Do I not have arrows? Let's try this. Long height ought to do it, right? Alright, that's easily far enough. So long. What? Die. Thank you. Somehow I've managed to lose my pickaxe. I don't know how I've done that. Anyway, do we reckon our elytra durability can hold out over the journey? I hope so. It's in this direction, right? It is so nice to just be able to float through the air to my destination. This is fantastic. I don't believe it, but this is a different village. What? I spent so much time looking for another village. And here it is. Any second now. There it is. The big creeper box and the giant dirt square. And just in the nick of time as well, we have just run out of rockets. A nice landing. Beautiful. Ah, oh, what a nice village. He's put it down to three for an emerald. That's pretty sweet, even though he did just recently lock. What about this guy? We're at 22 for a mending book. That's pretty cool as well. Okay. Let's skin this pumpkin right here. We're going to have to turn it into one of those weird pumpkins with faces. There we go. Pumpkin seeds. All right, let's add them to the farm and wait for the pumpkins to roll in. I'm just looking for a little bit of gunpowder. In fact, you know what? There's probably some in the creeper farm. Please be some in the creeper farm. If there's some in the creeper farm, we can head off to the nether, armed with our big boy potatoes and our iron pickaxe. And... <sighs> All right, it might... Yeah, we, we, might, we might be walking. Let me just see if I can find any gunpowder whatsoever around the base. Well, it's been a long night. But we did manage to get five gunpowder, <laughs> which isn't particularly amazing for an entire night of mob defeating. So we just have enough rockets probably to get us to where we need to get to. For the second time this episode, off we go. It has really taken a long time to get to what I actually wanted to do, so I'm probably going to cut most of it out because it didn't make for a very exciting episode. Let's head up to the nether ceiling. Oh no, we need to, we need to actually collect the magma first or did we have a bunch now we need to go and get some which means we need to go back and get a shulker box oh my goodness it's a good job we have a lightra i'm a lot more nervous around ghasts nowadays but this is kind of the moment of truth uh i'm not very used to a lightra especially on survival world do i just want to jump off a cliff over lava i mean i can't see what 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 could actually happen but this is weird <laughs> this is making me so nervous but we made it we made it. All right, let's get a ton of magma blocks and head to the farm. The last time I said that sentence, I died and lost everything. So can I just say I look awesome in diamond and elytra? This is pretty sweet. Okay, onwards and upwards. Whee! Yeah, we didn't quite make it. That's fine. Now, can I actually land on this? It's a one block thing. Ah, uh, no, we missed it. it. Might take several tries. 
And yes. All right, we didn't waste too many rockets. So we're going to jump into a time lapse of me finishing this first layer and getting on with the second one because it's been quite a waffly episode so far and no one likes a waffler. Let's go. down here to get some more magma blocks and we're just gonna get straight back into it finish the time lapse and just push on maybe get the box done and the thing that stops ghasts from spawning because I really do want to get the gold farm finished this episode now there's been a bit of lag with my elytra so I'm a bit worried about taking off but here we go oh okay we made it and we made it with one rocket let's head up there I know no 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 right well i'm gonna see how many people enjoy the hardcore series and honestly if lots of people are enjoying it i think not many people enjoy the survival series because it's exactly what you guys do so you're just watching me do what you do on a regular basis which might you might find a bit boring so if there are if i'm getting quite a few views on my new episode one hardcore by which by the way if you haven't watched go watch it then i'll probably just leave this series here I'll, i mean i'm doing a lot of leaving series but the server is coming up soon i want to have time to do to really commit to my hardcore series which I won't be able to do if I'm doing two series at once along with you know collab videos and stuff like that and tutorials so I think our hardcore series is going to take over as our main series which I'll probably die in and that I don't know I don't know like I say I'll see I'll see if people enjoy it if they don't then I'll carry on doing this tell me what you think in the comments but I think this might possibly be our final survival series because I've just lost everything again and it's driving me up the wall so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode a waffly die episode and I will catch you well I might I might not catch you in the next one see ya <laughs>